Hey Misfits, we're here again at Gen Con with your best coverage of 2024. Uh, I'm actually kind of high up if you do a pan over here. I've actually got the highest things in Gen Con right now. So who's got the highest spot? It's the OP because of course they got the they built this whole tower a monument to themselves right isn't it how it goes fair enough yeah right. <laughs> two-story booth this year so super excited it is very very cool um but there's a lot of exciting things going on I, i'm hearing a ton of th good things about gnome hollow you even have a balloon a destroyable balloon yes. set up in the main lobby this year yes the destroyable balloon uh they also have a fun little gnome made out of balloons that's walking around the hall oh every really day. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. I, yeah oh they're I gotta, awesome they're so, so you're finding you some pins on you know on the, uh, <laughs> right. Sunday at noon. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah. yeah. So, so tell me about Gnome Hollow. Go ahead. Yeah. So Gnome Hollow is our game of the show. We okay. actually sold out yesterday, wow. and then we were fortunate enough that our distributor. Uh, our fulfillment center is in Indianapolis, right. so we all loaded up our SUVs and grabbed some more copies. So wow. people today and through the rest of the show can hopefully, um, hopefully get a hopefully, copy, yeah. which is so exciting, Ooh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and real simple, no Holly, you can see it has a nice, you're getting a lot of stuff in this box. Oh um, yeah, it doesn't no, even close. Gnome Hollow is a tile placement worker placement game. Oh. So on your turn, you'll be drafting two tiles and playing them to this community garden. And the purpose is you'll be completing these rings when you complete a ring, two things happen. One is if it has any mushrooms, you'll collect those. And two is depending on the size of the ring, you'll take your leftmost ring marker and place it in the column based on that size. So if it's a five level ring, you'll take your ring marker and put it in a five spot. These player boards are magnetized, so it's always very cool when you just plop it down and it makes a nice click. You flip the board over and do the little party trick and be like, Look at that, it's not falling off. It's like the frosty at Wendy's. That they have yeah, those everything stays out. there. It's so cool, oh my goodness. Now you're gonna be hungry. I know, right? Um, and then at the other side of this player board is the advanced variant, which uh, not only are you worried about the size of the rings, but also the shape of the patterns you're making. So it's a much different puzzle, and it's a lot more thinky and advanced. So it's super cool. So it's, there's something cool. for everybody here. And again, it's it's what you're doing on your turn, drafting tiles, moving one of your workers to places that you're making, which is super exciting. So there's a lot to the game, which is super exciting. And for the first time ever at the Ops History, we are releasing a deluxe upgrade kit. Oh boy, so uh -oh. The, you had me at deluxe. <laughs> right? The game already has beautiful components, but if you want chunky wooden bits, which is a fun sentence to yeah, say. I mean, it chunky is kind wooden of, yeah, bits, yeah, right? Yeah. If you yeah. want some chunky wooden bits, these upgrade the victory point tokens and the mushrooms you're collecting and the wildflowers you'll collect. So, really great addition to the game. Do I get a, do we get a gnome with want. it as well? Uh, yes, with the coupon book, if you come in and you get a nice little gnome stuffy. Oh. Which is very, very cool. I thought I meant a living one, but I'll take a stuffy. Oh, you want a living one? I can, I can make somebody. I mean, I just need to measure someone, and what's, what's gnome height these days? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe three feet or whatever? Okay, yeah. yeah just go around the convention hall yeah, for like, hey. Just being like, hey. you work. You, you're totally um, good. But yeah, so Gnome Hollow is available first at the show. We're also excited that this will be Barnes & Noble's Game of the Month for oh. August, September. So That's it's awesome. on shelves at Barnes & Noble, and it'll be at retailers starting next week. Oh, wow. Wow. Awesome. And so they get it at the show. How much is it? Uh, um, for $49.99 MSRP. So, oh, nice. Uh, upgrade kit's $24.99. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you buy it at the show, you get a discount, five bucks. So. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, OP is always impressive, but honestly, I like the kind of direction you guys are going. This is, this is, I think, something a little different for you guys. Like, I, I haven't really seen this out of the OP before, and I like where you're going, kind of getting, I, I, I don't know how to say, it's not even really more, it's just, it's a, it just seems a little more Euro-y for you guys, you know yes, what I mean? No, and I great, like seeing that, something a little crunchier, you know Great I mean? observation. We are so fortunate. Our company started back in the early 90s as what we call a co-brand company. Right. So we did licensed versions of Monopoly, Clue. We have Clue yeah. Muppets coming out later this year. That's beautiful production oh, value. Wow. Oh, wow. yeah. I was like, let's get Kermit to promote yeah. it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I was like, we can get Peter. I was like, I'm in. Yeah. Um, you Animal know, so, always does it, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Animal, <laughs> wonderful. So oh, we yeah. started at that. Then we became a, a party family company, Telestrations, using Q's Tackle, right. Blank Slate. Right. And then recently, in 2016, we released Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, yeah. which was a was a great game. Deck yeah, builder. Great game, yeah. And since then, we slowly made these baby steps into hobby. Last year, we released great games like the Art Project, and mm -hmm. this year we released Aqua from the team that did Heat Pedal to the Metal with oh, Vincent yeah. Dutre artwork. 
And so it's been baby steps kind of, kind of yeah. doing exactly what you said, right? Now we have a dedicated team to the hobby side of the business that people that love tabletop misfits, that watch Rodney Smith videos, yeah. that love this industry yeah. and will, are making games that we think the hobby side of the industry will love. Yeah. So it's very exciting. It is extremely exciting. Yeah, I'm glad to see you guys kind of move into that arena because you guys have enough, I think, strength. Like you guys are big. You guys have enough team. You have enough power. You have enough clout. You know, you're like, you know what I mean? You guys, yeah, have, yeah, you guys have it all. Absolutely. So it's like, and if you don't, if they, if you're like, you don't like the game, just hit them with a copy of Monopoly. Like, here, take your Monopoly. Yeah. But no, I absolutely love it. This is a great game design, and it just looks, it just looks awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We're super excited for this one. Yeah. Guys, come by to Gen Con, check it out. Uh, look for the two-story gnome building or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm, I gained a little weight. Hopefully, I'm not going to do anything bad to it, but it should be here when you get here. Uh, until then, guys, check out our coverage. Check out OP. Get this game, guys. This game looks amazing. Keep pushing at OP to make more Euro crunchy games. Trust me, I want to see more come out of this. So, guys, until then, of course, as always, game on.